Capuchin monkeys are fascinating creatures with unique behaviors and adaptations. Here are some interesting facts about them. Highly intelligent. Capuchin monkeys are considered one of the most intelligent New World monkey species. They have been observed using tools such as using sticks to extract insects from crevices or using stones to crack open nuts. Varied diet. Capuchins are omnivores, meaning they eat a wide variety of foods. Their diet includes fruits, nuts, insects, small vertebrates, and even plant parts like leaves and flowers. Prehensile tail. Capuchins have a prehensile tail, which means they can use it to grasp and hold objects. This tail is an important tool for balance and mobility in their arboreal, tree-dwelling habitat. Social behavior. Capuchins live in groups called troops, which usually consist of around 10 to 30 individuals. These groups have a complex social structure with dominant individuals, subordinates, and various interactions. Communication. Capuchins communicate using a range of vocalizations, facial expressions, and body postures. They use these signals to convey information about their intentions, emotions, and social status. Territorial. Troops of capuchin monkeys often have defined territories that they defend against other groups. They mark their territories using vocalizations and scent markings. Tool use. Capuchins are known for their impressive tool using abilities. They have been observed using tools for various tasks, including cracking open nuts, digging for insects, and even using leaves as makeshift rain hats. Curious creatures. Capuchins are curious animals that enjoy exploring their surroundings. They often investigate new objects or situations in their environment, which is believed to be linked to their high level of intelligence. Long lifespan. In the wild, capuchin monkeys can live around 15 to 25 years. In captivity, they may live longer due to the absence of predators and better access to food and healthcare. Adaptable habitat. Capuchin monkeys are found in a range of habitats, including tropical rainforests, dry forests, and even urban areas. They have proven to be adaptable and can thrive in various environments. Human interaction. Capuchin monkeys have sometimes been kept as pets, but their complex social and behavioral needs make them challenging to care for properly. It's generally recommended to appreciate these animals in their natural habitats or reputable sanctuaries. Research subjects. Due to their high level of intelligence and relatively small size, capuchin monkeys have been used in various scientific studies to better understand cognition, problem solving, and social behavior. These intriguing facts highlight the fascinating nature of capuchin monkeys and their role in the ecosystems they inhabit. Their behaviors, intelligence, and adaptability make them an important subject of scientific research and a captivating species to observe in the wild. <laughs>
conservation concerns, several species of howler monkeys are considered vulnerable or endangered due to habitat loss, deforestation and human activities. Protecting their natural habitats is crucial for their survival. Nocturnal habits. Howler monkeys are primarily active during the day, but some species, such as the black howler monkey, are known to be more active during the early morning and late afternoon. Leaf litter nests. Howler monkeys build nests in the trees using branches and leaves. They often prefer to rest in a secure spot high above the forest floor to avoid predators. Slow reproduction. Howler monkeys have a slow rate of reproduction. Females typically give birth to one offspring at a time, and the interval between births is relatively long. Important seed dispersers. Despite their herbivorous diet, howler monkeys play an important role in their ecosystems by aiding in seed dispersal. They consume a variety of fruits and leaves, which help spread plant species throughout the forest. Curl prehensile tail. Howler monkeys have a unique prehensile tail that is not only strong but also able to curl around objects. This tail helps them grasp branches and navigate through the trees. Diverse species, howler monkeys belong to the genus Aluata, and there are several species within this genus found across Central and South America. Research subjects. Howler monkeys have been subjects of scientific research to better understand their behavior, communication, and ecological roles within their habitats. These facts shed light on the fascinating characteristics and behaviors of howler monkeys, showcasing their importance in maintaining healthy forest ecosystems and their remarkable adaptations for life in the treetops. <laughs>
Each species of squirrel monkey has unique facial markings, such as different patterns around the eyes and ears. These markings help distinguish between different species. Research subjects. Squirrel monkeys have been used in scientific research to study various aspects of behavior, cognition, and social dynamics. Their social nature and relatively small size make them valuable subjects for studying primate behavior. Scent marking. Squirrel monkeys use scent marking to establish their territory and communicate with other members of their troop. They may rub their scent glands on objects in their environment. Curious and intelligent. Squirrel monkeys are curious animals that often investigate new objects or situations. They have shown intelligence in problem-solving tasks and learning from their experiences. These facts provide insight into the captivating world of squirrel monkeys, showcasing their active lifestyle, social interactions, and unique adaptations that help them thrive in their tropical forest habitats. <laughs>
These cultural differences can help researchers understand the complexities of their social dynamics. These facts highlight the remarkable adaptations, behaviors, and significance of spider monkeys in their rainforest habitats. Their role as seed dispersers, intricate social interactions, and unique characteristics make them an essential part of the ecosystem they inhabit. <laughs> Golden lion tamarins are captivating creatures native to the lush rainforests of Brazil. Their vibrant appearance and social behavior make them fascinating subjects of study and conservation efforts. Distinctive appearance. Golden lion tamarins are known for their stunning golden orange fur, which inspired their name. Their face and mane resemble that of a lion, giving them a regal and distinctive appearance. Endangered status. These tamarins are classified as an endangered species by the IUCN due to habitat loss and fragmentation caused by deforestation and human activities. Conservation initiatives aim to protect their dwindling populations. Tiny stature. Golden lion tamarins are among the smallest primates. Adults weigh around 1 to 1.5 pounds, 0.45 to 0.68 kilograms, and their body length, excluding the tail, is about 7 to 12 inches, 18 to 30 centimeters. Social groups. These primates live in family groups consisting of a breeding pair and their offspring. Cooperative breeding is common, with other group members assisting in caring for the young. Vocal communication. Golden lion tamarins communicate through a variety of vocalizations, including calls, whistles, and chirps. These sounds help them communicate within their group and warn of potential dangers. Diet. Their diet primarily consists of fruits, nectar, insects, and small vertebrates. They play a vital role in seed dispersal, contributing to the health of their rainforest ecosystem. Territorial behavior. Golden lion tamarins mark their territory using scent markings and vocalizations. This helps avoid conflicts with neighboring groups. Tree dwelling. These tamarins are highly arboreal, spending the majority of their lives in the treetops. Their long limbs and sharp claws enable them to move quickly and skillfully through the forest canopy. Mating monogamy. Breeding pairs of golden lion tamarins are monogamous and form strong bonds that can last throughout their lives. Unique births. Female tamarins typically give birth to twins. It is common for the father and other group members to assist in caring for and carrying the infants. Conservation efforts. Due to their endangered status, conservation organizations work to protect the habitats of golden lion tamarins and reintroduce captive bred individuals into the wild. Tail communication. Tamarins use their tails as a form of communication often raising them while making vocalizations to signal various messages to other members of their group. Role in ecosystem. As seed dispersers, golden lion tamarins contribute to the regeneration of the rainforest by spreading seeds from the fruits they consume. Sensitive to habitat changes, these tamarins are highly sensitive to habitat disturbances and changes. Loss of their forest habitat can have a significant impact on their populations. Conservation corridors. Efforts are underway to establish wildlife corridors that connect fragmented habitats, allowing tamarins to move freely and maintain genetic diversity. Cultural importance. Golden lion tamarins are a symbol of conservation and biodiversity in their native Brazil, where they are valued for their role in maintaining healthy ecosystems. Adapted canines. Their elongated canines are used for cracking open tree bark to access insects, a crucial protein source in their diet. Tail as a balancer. Their long, non-prehensile tail helps them balance while moving through the treetops and leaping between branches. Zoo conservation. Many zoos and conservation organizations participate in breeding programs to ensure genetic diversity and maintain a viable population of golden lion tamarins. Educational ambassadors. 
These captivating creatures serve as ambassadors for rainforest conservation, inspiring awareness and support for protecting their habitat and biodiversity. Golden lion tamarinds serve as a reminder of the delicate balance within rainforest ecosystems and the importance of conserving their habitat for the well-being of both wildlife and the environment. <laughs> Distinctive appearance. Mandrills are known for their vibrant and striking appearance. Adult males have colorful blue and red facial markings, which become more pronounced when they are excited or displaying dominance. They also have a long, thick mane of hair along their spine. Largest monkey. Mandrills are the largest species of monkeys, with adult males weighing around 50, 80 pounds, 23 to 36 kilograms and measuring up to 3 feet 1 meter in length, excluding their tail. Social structure. These primates are highly social and live in groups known as troops, which can consist of a few individuals to over 800 members. Troops are hierarchical, with dominant males leading and protecting the group. Colorful rump. One of the most distinctive features of mandrills is their colorful rump. The bright colors, ranging from red to blue, help signal their social status and communicate with other members of the troop. Omnivorous diet mandrels have a diverse diet that includes fruits, leaves, seeds, insects and small vertebrates. Their powerful jaws and sharp teeth allow them to consume a wide range of foods. Cheek pouches. Mandrills have specialized cheek pouches that they use to store food temporarily while foraging. This allows them to continue moving and searching for more food without immediate consumption. Vocal communication. They use a variety of vocalizations, including grunts, screams and whistles, to communicate with each other within the troop. These vocalizations help maintain social cohesion and alert the group to potential threats. Female dominance. While dominant males lead the troop, female mandrills often hold a significant role within the social structure. They are known to form strong alliances and influence group dynamics. Habitat. Mandrills inhabit the dense rainforests and jungles of Central and Western Africa. They are adapted to life in the trees and spend the majority of their time in the forest canopy. Mating behavior. During the mating season, dominant males display their colorful facial markings and engage in elaborate displays to attract females. Mating is not limited to a specific time and females can mate with multiple males. Grooming behavior. Grooming plays a crucial role in maintaining social bonds within the troop. It helps establish trust, reduce tension and reinforce social hierarchies. Conservation status. Mandrills are listed as vulnerable by the IUCN due to habitat loss, deforestation, and hunting for their meat. Conservation efforts focus on protecting their habitats and raising awareness about their importance in the ecosystem. Cultural significance. Mandrills hold cultural significance in certain African communities where they are featured in folklore, art, and rituals. Hunting behavior. Mandrills are skilled hunters of insects and small vertebrates. They use their strong jaws and sharp teeth to catch and consume their prey. Parental care. Female mandrills give birth to a single offspring after a gestation period of about six months. The young are cared for and protected by the entire troop, not just the mother. Adaptations. Their long, strong limbs and prehensile tail help them navigate the treetops, while their sharp teeth aid in their omnivorous diet. Threats. Mandrills face threats from habitat destruction due to logging and agriculture, as well as from hunting for bushmeat and the pet trade. Scent marking. Mandrills use scent marking to establish territory and communicate with other members of the troop. They have specialized scent glands on their chests. Zoo conservation. Many zoos around the world participate in breeding programs to ensure genetic diversity and raise awareness about the importance of protecting mandrills in the wild. Role in ecosystem. Mandrills play a vital role in seed dispersal and maintaining the health of their rainforest ecosystem by helping to regenerate plant life. Mandrills showcase both captivating social dynamics and vibrant physical features, making them a subject of interest and study in the field of primatology and wildlife conservation. <laughs> 
Japanese macaques, also known as snow monkeys, are a highly interesting and adaptable species of primates native to Japan. Natural habitat. Japanese macaques are found in various regions of Japan, from the subtropical forests of Kyushu to the snowy mountains of Honshu. Cold tolerance. These macaques are famous for their ability to withstand cold temperatures. They are known to inhabit areas with heavy snowfall and can endure freezing temperatures by using natural thermal springs for warmth. Thermal springs. The behavior of Japanese macaques using natural thermal springs for warmth is well documented. They are the only known non-human primates to take advantage of geothermal hot springs. This unique behavior is not only a way to stay warm, but also a social and cultural activity within their communities. Social groups. Japanese macaques live in organized social groups called troops, which can consist of several to over a hundred individuals. Troops are led by dominant females and include males, females and their offspring. Hierarchy and rank. Within the troop, a clear hierarchy is maintained, with dominant individuals having priority access to resources like food and grooming. Food diversity. Japanese macaques are omnivores and have a diverse diet. They consume fruits, leaves, seeds, insects, small vertebrates, and even aquatic life like fish and shellfish. Tool use. These macaques are known for their advanced tool use behaviors. They use stones to crack open nuts and shellfish, as well as sticks to probe for insects. Cultural transmission. The use of thermal springs for bathing and warmth has been observed in certain groups of Japanese macaques and is believed to be culturally transmitted from one generation to the next. Alloparenting. Female macaques in the troop often assist in caring for each other's offspring, a behavior known as alloparenting. This helps build social bonds and ensures the survival of young macaques. Communication. Japanese macaques use a variety of vocalizations, facial expressions, and body postures to communicate with each other. These behaviors help maintain social harmony within the troop. Sociable behavior. Despite occasional conflicts, these macaques are known for their social grooming behaviors which help build relationships and reduce tension within the group. Conservation status. The Japanese macaque is not considered a threatened species and is listed as least concerned by the IUCN. However, habitat loss and human-wildlife conflict can impact their populations in some areas. Cultural significance. Japanese macaques are revered in Japanese culture and are sometimes depicted in art, literature and folklore. Research subjects. Japanese macaques have been subjects of numerous scientific studies, particularly in the fields of behavior, cognition and social dynamics. Tourist attractions. The unique behavior of Japanese macaques using thermal springs has made them popular attractions for tourists, drawing visitors to observe and photograph their intriguing habits. Range of adaptation. These macaques have shown remarkable adaptability to various environments, from subtropical lowlands to subalpine regions with heavy snowfall. Reproduction. Female macaques give birth to a single offspring after a gestation period of about six months. Young macaques learn essential skills by observing and interacting with other troop members. Hybridization. In some areas, Japanese macaques have been known to hybridize with other macaque species, creating unique genetic mixes. Protection and conservation. While not endangered, efforts are made to protect their habitats and manage their interactions with human communities. Research insights. Studies on Japanese macaques have provided valuable insights into primate behavior, social structures, and cultural transmission. Japanese macaques are a captivating species with a range of behaviors that showcase their adaptability, intelligence, and social intricacies. Their unique use of thermal springs and cultural practices continue to fascinate researchers and enthusiasts. <laughs>
proboscis monkeys are found in mangrove swamps, lowland rainforests, and riverine areas of Borneo, an island shared by Indonesia, Malaysia, and Bruni. Semi-aquatic lifestyle. These monkeys are well adapted to their wetland habitats and are skilled swimmers. They are often seen swimming across rivers and bodies of water, which helps them find food and evade predators. Social structure. Proboscis monkeys live in social groups known as troops, which can consist of several to over 50 individuals. Each troop is led by a dominant male. Diet. Their diet consists mainly of leaves, fruits, flowers, and seeds. They have specialized stomachs that allow them to digest leaves efficiently. Nocturnal activity. Proboscis monkeys are primarily active during the early morning and late afternoon, avoiding the hottest parts of the day. They are considered primarily nocturnal, but also show some daytime activity. Vocalizations. The loud and distinctive calls of male proboscis monkeys can be heard echoing through the forests. These calls are used for communication and asserting dominance. Sexual dimorphism. Male proboscis monkeys are larger than females and have the characteristic long nose. Females have shorter, upturned noses. Conservation status. The proboscis monkey is considered endangered by the IUCN due to habitat loss caused by deforestation and human development. Conservation efforts are in place to protect their habitats and populations. Unique adaptations. Their pot-bellied appearance is due to their complex stomach, which helps them digest their fibrous diet. They also have webbed feet that aid in swimming. Mating behavior. Dominant males in the troop have the privilege of mating with females. When a new male takes over the troop, he may kill the offspring of the previous male to establish his own genetic lineage. Infant care. Young proboscis monkeys are born with short noses that gradually grow longer as they mature. Infants are cared for by their mothers and have a special call to communicate with them. Threats. Habitat destruction and fragmentation are the primary threats to proboscis monkey populations. They are also hunted for their meat and fur in some areas. Cultural symbolism. Proboscis monkeys hold cultural significance in Borneo and are sometimes considered sacred by local communities. Tourist attraction. These monkeys are a popular attraction for wildlife enthusiasts and ecotourists who visit Borneo to observe their unique behaviors. Research focus. Proboscis monkeys have become subjects of scientific research to better understand their behaviors, ecology, and role in their ecosystems. Hybridization. In some cases, proboscis monkeys have been known to hybridize with other related monkey species. Leaf digestion. The complex stomach of proboscis monkeys allows them to break down cellulose from leaves, making them specialized folivores. Nesting sites. They often select sleeping sites high in the trees to avoid predators, using the tree's dense foliage for cover. Ecological role. As herbivores, proboscis monkeys play a role in seed dispersal and maintaining the health of their forest ecosystems. The proboscis monkey's distinctive appearance, behaviors, and its critical role in Borneo's ecosystems make it a remarkable and unique primate species worth studying and conserving. <laughs>
They have well-defined social hierarchies within their troops, with dominant individuals having preferential access to resources. Reproduction, vervet monkeys give birth to a single offspring after a gestation period of about five to six months. The mother provides care and protection for her baby. Playful nature. Young vervet monkeys are known for their playful behavior, engaging in activities like chasing each other and swinging from trees. Threats. Habitat loss due to deforestation and human encroachment, as well as hunting for bushmeat and the pet trade, pose threats to vervet monkey populations. Conservation status. While vervet monkeys are not currently considered endangered, their populations in some areas are declining due to the aforementioned threats. Human interaction. Vervet monkeys are sometimes considered pests in agricultural areas as they may raid crops, leading to conflicts between humans and these monkeys. Research interest. Due to their social structure and adaptability, vervet monkeys are often studied by researchers to better understand primate behavior and social dynamics. Cultural significance. In some African cultures, vervet monkeys are considered symbols of agility, curiosity, and adaptability. Protection efforts. Conservation organizations work to protect vervet monkeys and their habitats through education, research, and habitat restoration programs. Hybridization. Vervet monkeys can interbreed with other closely related species, leading to hybrid offspring in certain areas. Longevity. In the wild, vervet monkeys can live up to 10 to 12 years, while those in captivity may have longer lifespans. Ecological role. Vervet monkeys play a role in their ecosystems as seed dispersers, helping to spread the seeds of various plants. Mating behavior. During the mating season, males may compete for the attention of females through various displays and vocalizations. Human influence. Vervet monkeys have been studied for their responses to human behaviors and interactions, offering insights into primate cognition and adaptation in changing environments. These facts provide a glimpse into the intriguing world of vervet monkeys and their significance in both the natural environment and the study of primates. <laughs> Distinctive appearance. Colobus monkeys, also known as colobines, are known for their unique appearance. They have a black coat with striking white hair on their face, fringes of white hair on their shoulders, and a long bushy tail. Leaf-eating specialists. Colobus monkeys are primarily folivores, which means they mainly eat leaves. Their specialized stomach and digestive system help them extract nutrients from the tough plant material. Social structure. These monkeys live in multi-male, multi-female groups that can vary in size from a few individuals to over 50. Unlike some other primate species, colobus groups are less hierarchical and exhibit more cooperative behaviors. Lack of thumbs. Colobus monkeys have reduced or even absent thumbs, which is an adaptation to their leaf-based diet. This thumb modification allows them to have a stronger grip on branches while feeding. Communication. They communicate through vocalizations, facial expressions, and body movements. Their vocalizations include loud calls that can carry over long distances to signal group members and warn against predators. Maternal care. Colobus monkeys have a relatively long gestation period, and females give birth to a single offspring at a time. Young colobus monkeys are born with white fur that darkens as they grow older. Mobbing behavior. When encountering a predator, colobus monkeys often exhibit a behavior called mobbing, where they group together and make loud vocalizations to intimidate the threat. Conservation status. Some species of colobus monkeys are listed as vulnerable or endangered due to habitat loss, deforestation, and hunting for their fur and body parts. Ecological role. As leaf eaters, Colobus monkeys play a role in shaping the vegetation in their habitat by consuming specific plant parts and spreading seeds through their feces. Longevity. In the wild, Colobus monkeys can live up to around 20 to 30 years, while those in captivity may have longer lifespans. Geographic distribution. Colobus monkeys are found in various parts of Africa, including sub-Saharan regions, where they inhabit forests, woodlands, and savannas. Diverse diet. 
Although their diet primarily consists of leaves, Colobus monkeys may also consume fruits, flowers, and other plant parts depending on availability. Cultural significance. In some African cultures, Colobus monkeys hold symbolic meanings and are considered sacred animals. Predator avoidance. Their black and white coloration, along with their agility in the treetops, helps Colobus monkeys blend into their environment and avoid predation. Species diversity. There are multiple species and subspecies of Colobus monkeys, each adapted to different habitats and environments. Role in research. Colobus monkeys are studied by scientists to gain insights into primate social behavior, communication, and adaptations to specific diets. Habitat requirements. These monkeys depend on intact forests for their survival, making them indicators of ecosystem health. Interactions with other species. Colobus monkeys can interact with other animals, such as birds and insects, in ways that benefit both species. For example, birds may use the monkey's presence to locate insects flushed from the canopy. Vulnerabilities Due to their slow reproductive rates and specific dietary needs, Colobus monkeys can be sensitive to habitat disturbances and changes in food availability. Conservation efforts Organizations work to protect Colobus monkeys through habitat preservation, anti-poaching measures, and community education to raise awareness about their importance. These facts showcase the fascinating behaviors, adaptations, and ecological roles of Colobus monkeys in the intricate ecosystems they inhabit.